You're watching White Mountains TV. I'm Chris Prue, and joined in studio right now by Caitlin White of New Hampshire Grant. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And we're going to talk about fun things to do above the notches. There's so much in New Hampshire's Grand North. You guys are buried in snow right now. Talk yep. to us about some of the things that you can do up there. Well, it's great. You know, the snow came just in time for the holidays. We have everything to do from downhill skiing and cross country skiing, um, snowmobiling up in Pittsburgh and Colebrook area, ice fishing, um, dog sledding, which is really fun if you haven't had a chance to do it, um, zip lining, um, ice climbing, you know, winter hiking, uh, you name it, we've got it. It is such a magical world up there. Once you get you know, above the northern White Mountains, and it's just this magical world that stretches all the way to, to the, Canada, Canada, to the yeah. Canadian border. It's, uh, it really is an unspoiled world that you don't get to see yeah. that often. It, it's, it's a really unique area if you haven't had a chance to come north. Um, you know, we've got these cool little downtown areas and these unique little communities with little gift shops, and then we've got some arts and culture and different theaters. You can catch a show. Um, stop into little galleries. We have wonderful restaurants. Mm. Um, Tall Timber Lodge up in uh, Pittsburgh is amazing if you haven't had a chance to go there. Um, and so, you know, amongst these mountains and these rivers and everything, you've got these big attractions like the Cog Railway in the summertime when they're open, um, the Matt Washington Auto Road, I mean, taking the snow coach up to the top and Great Glen Trails, they're opening. Um, they just open, so it's great. You know, we have so much to do between soft adventures and big adventures. There's something for everyone. That's great. So much to do up there. I know Santa's Village is open pre-holidays. Yeah, they have Christmas time uh, holiday hours right now. And so you can go visit Santa on the weekends and do some of the uh, rides there. And, you know, of course, feed the reindeer of because course. they need to be fed before the big day. That is a magical experience you'll only find in New Hampshire's Grand North. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned skiing. There's cross-country skiing at Great Glen. Also, Brenton Woods. Yep, Brenton Woods. It's open with both types of skiing. Yeah, and if you haven't had a chance to go there, it's got a beautiful view on a clear day from the top. Um, you know, they also offer sleigh rides and you go fat biking and they have an indoor rock climbing wall if the weather is not up to par for you and then zip lining through the woods is pretty amazing. All right, and great um, natural and, and outdoor adventure experience as well from snowmobiling to ice fishing, some of the yeah. best uh, fishing you can have is yeah. in New Hampshire's Grand North. Yeah, I mean the snowmobiling, you really can't beat it up in Pittsburgh and Colebrook area. Um, there are snowmobiling trails for days up there and then uh, the Connecticut Lakes is a great place to go ice fishing. Um, so I mean if you haven't been up to the Pittsburgh Colebrook area it's very unique. It's very, you're definitely in the wilderness and so close to Canada. It's really neat up there. So it really is such a vast area from the White Mountains all the way to Canada. Mm -hmm. How do you begin to plan your Grand North adventure? Well, I mean, the first thing you do is uh, go to NewHampshireGrand.com. Uh, you can kind of see what the different types of activities and attractions that we offer. Um, you know, you can start in Littleton and kind of work your way up and do a big circle, or you can kind of pick an area that you want to go to that you haven't been to before. Um, you know, Berlin Gorham area, great snowmobiling as well. Uh, and then you can kind of go up to Pittsburgh and Colebrook and come back around and go to Lancaster and Whitefield area and, you know, end where you started in Littleton, go through Bethlehem. There's you know, all the towns offer great things to do, so um, I really couldn't tell where you should start because <laughs> each one's different. <laughs> start at the website and check everything out. Yep. And uh, we, we're, we're speaking with Caitlin White of New Hampshire Grand. What is something that you've discovered in New Hampshire's Grand North that uh, you were kind of either not shocked by, but pleasantly like surprised and said, wow, I never knew this was here? Well, you know, I, the first time I went dog sledding, I was in Colorado because I think I just thought, oh, well, dog sledding, you know, it doesn't really exist anywhere else. And last year I had the chance to go with Muddy, Muddy Paw Sled Dog Kennel. Yep. I think I was there all day because I fell in love with every dog. It's a really unique experience where you get to go and meet all the dogs and feed them, and you get to hook them up to the sled. So you get a really unique experience. You get to know the dogs, you get to know your team, and then you get to go out in this beautiful adventure in the woods and you get to see the presidentials and oh mm. it's it was really fun <laughs> it is it is really cool once you get above the notches and you look back at the white mountains such yeah. a beautiful backdrop and such a uh i think new hampshire is either first or second right there with maine in total percentage of, of forested land and once you get into the grand north it's just like yeah it's it's splendid it is amazing all right and really unique um, and we also, one thing I just want to mention, we have unique itineraries on our website. So if you're looking for more of a planned getaway, 
Um, you can check out our blog and the itineraries, but just make sure to go to NewHampshireGrand.com. Right, and there are plenty of, I guess you would say, refined adventures as mm -hmm. well. You don't have to be a rugged outdoorsman to enjoy New Hampshire's Grand North. No, I mean, we have a lot of the hotels and lodges that offer spas, you know, so if you're looking for more of a romantic getaway, you can go to Mount Washington Resort or the Mountain View Grand and enjoy a weekend away with your mm -hmm. loved one, or you could do... You know, just a day at Santa's Village with the family. I mean, there's really something for everyone, whether you're just coming up for a scenic tour, um, you know, taking the snow coach up to the top of Mount Washington, or if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous and, you know, doing some other things. So. Absolutely. Well, I'm ready to head up to New Hampshire's Grand North. Yeah. Again, the website is? NHGrand.com. And uh, check in with you throughout the season because I'm sure yeah. as the season progresses, we go from winter to spring, there's all sorts of activities. We have all sorts of things. And also, you know, you can check us out on Facebook and Instagram as well. All right. Caitlin yeah. White, New Hampshire Grant, thank you for joining yeah, us. Yeah, thank you very much. And we'll be right back. You're watching White Mountains TV.